Hello everyone, welcome back to Cast and Blast 406. It is finally springtime here in Montana, as you can see. It was a long winter, but right now it was worth it because the blue wings are here finally. Uh, the conditions have been perfect. The dry fly action has been great. So we're just getting all the gear ready. We're gonna hook up the boat and we, we got a great uh, weather forecast this week. So no wind, some cloud cover, so perfect. So anyway, we'll touch base at the end. Thanks for watching and welcome back. All the blue wings. That is cool. Oh, that cluster right there. Cool. All right, let's get down to our flat. There he is. Finally. Oh, oh mama. <laughs> ah, that's what we're talking about. He's worth messing up the pod. A little brownie. Nice. There he is. Oh, jeez. Oh, my gosh. You got to swim right up here. So hopefully, you're going to keep out of the pod. No, 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 no. Stay over here. Another football. Look how fat they are. Look at that. There he is. Ooh, that's a nice one. This is a little bigger one. Definitely. If I can get him out of there. Oh, good. He's coming. Nice brown. Look at that. Right on the lip. Nice brown trout. Look at that guy. Look at that. Nice. Right, coming up to him right down his lane. There he is, got him. That was cool. <laughs> there he is, got him, finally. That was worth the wait. I had about a half dozen opportunities. There he is. We've got him. A little jumper. We'll take it. A little guy. Lighter though. There he is, got him. There he is, got him. Yeah. Gosh, if this isn't heaven, this is heaven, but you're still alive. 
Good. Can't believe I haven't spooked this guy yet. Oh, that's a huge fish, too. right next to me. That's a nice fish too. That is un freaking believable. Oh my gosh. Unbelievable. Peggy, what are you doing? Look at the size of this fish in six inches of water. Finally getting this thing in. Oh man. This thing is 20 at least 22 inches. Look at that thing. Oh my God. <laughs> Jeez. <sorry>. Oh. <laughs> did that happen? Ooh, that was a nice fish. Oh, God. oh I just had him. There we go. Look at all the fish feeding down here. There's like 50. Trying to get him, keep him out of the pod here. Look at those fish feeding down there. There he is. This is insane. This is a nice fish. Oh man, this is a this is a fatty. Let's see if I can get him out. There's nobody fishing. <laughs> Oh, he's off. Oh, did he break me? No. Let's see if we got one here. Whoa. Not a very... Oh, did you see that fish? Oh, my. That was a huge rainbow. All right, he's still feeding. Good. Oh, my God. I can't believe I missed him. Oh my god! Uh, I 
I've missed them twice now. Oh my god, this is the third time he's eaten. If he eats this again, he's a moron. Oh my god, that is four times. Oh my god, that was the fifth time this fish hit the fly. Five times. So, I guess Peggy knocked this over. GoPro, stop recording. Peggy knocked this over again. Hey everybody, uh, welcome back. Uh, as you saw, it was a great week of fishing. All the conditions were perfect and we had a great time. So what a great way to start the season with the first major hatch on the Missouri, especially after our long winter. Um, I don't know how we better or beat what we did. We're sure going to try. Um, in fact, in about a week, all of our tributaries open up. So we're going to transition from floating and drift boat to put in on our hiking boots and we are going to shed some pounds and we're going to hike into some remote areas to uh, fish for some big brown trout using a much different technique. And to show you the difference, so about for the last month, this is the fly of choice for uh, bluing olive dry. This this little spinner size 20. When we hike into these remote creeks, we're going to be fishing big chubbies and most importantly,
big mouse patterns. And that is what we are going to use to entice some of these big brown trout. So I wait all year to fish this on these creeks that we're hiking into. You do not want to miss this video. It is hands down the most exciting style of trout fishing that I've ever experienced. And uh, watching a big brown trout or a big rainbow come up and hit this thing out of the water, swirl around and come back and chomp on it. Uh, if that doesn't bring a smile to your face, you are dead and buried. So stay tuned. You do not want to miss this video. Thanks for watching. And I think things are just going to get better and better as the uh, season progresses. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you real soon. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.